Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is the Golden Family Empire and today we are making the easiest recipe for banana pudding. Let's get into it. So first, I'm going to assemble the cookies. I like to assemble the cookies. In the pan. Just assemble them. And throw some in and assemble. If you want, you can always prep this step, the assembling part. And guys, this is the easiest recipe because you only have to measure the milk, that's it. And you'll see why in a minute. Assemble them in here, it's so simple. Don't have to be perfect. Use vanilla wafers. I like to stand them up on the sides because when you pour your pudding, it gives a nice representation. And you can do this, it's great to do this late night. Then you got the whole banana pudding to yourself. How about that? <laughs> you know if you got kids and all. But they'll smell it, they'll still try to get some. All right, we get our first layer, then we'll take our banana. And we'll slice our bananas over it. I usually assemble the whole thing before I pour the pudding. So this is my first step. I don't even, don't worry about it, just slice, slice away. You don't have to be too thin, but not too thick. Just slice away. I'm gonna start with four bananas. But considering your size of the bananas, you want to, um, you can use more or less. It all depends on the size of your bananas. And I say just slice away. This is the most tedious part. Well, this is not the most tedious part. Doing the pudding is tedious too. And this is a hot banana pudding. You don't like it hot? Put it in the refrigerator, let it cool off for two hours and then eat it. I like mine warm, freshly made warm. So good. Only thing I don't put on it, I don't put the meringue, but you can put the meringue. We don't put another banana. So I might end up using like, more bananas because the pan is big. Okay. I've seen most people do their one layer and pour the pudding because they're doing a cold one. So it doesn't really matter. Or they're doing a hot one and they, they want to assemble it that way. But the pudding will go everywhere once we so it'll automatically do the layers that we need. Okay, then we're gonna do another layer of cookies. 
We cut up three bananas so far. And we just want to do another layer of cookies. We just gonna put them in there. Like I said, it don't have to be perfect. I do try to cover up the bananas though, because when you pour the hot pudding over there, it will scald the, the bananas quickly. So I try to at least cover them up. So you just want to add them in here. There's no wrong way or a perfect way to do it. Everybody got their own techniques. I think it comes out, tastes the same either way. Just want to cover those bananas. This is a big glass plate pan. I usually use a glass pan so you can have a good presentation. So it is a little tedious to do this, but it's pretty quick. The pudding stage is the longest stage. You have to wait till it come up to temperature. We're just kind of throwing them in here, guys. Covering the bananas, as you see, that they need to be covered. And then I'm gonna do another banana. This is gonna be our second layer. Like I said, you probably use between four and six bananas. Depending on your pan and depending on your size of your bananas. How thick, how thin you want your bananas to be. No rush, just you and the banana pudding. Making your little layers. Some people may want more bananas, some people may want less bananas, more cookies. So you can kind of put it how you want. So I'll end up using another banana. So I did go to the six, which is okay. It's called banana pudding, y'all. So you want to put some bananas in there. Since my pan is so big, I'm gonna be um, doing two layers. You can slice it over. You wanna get another layer going and you'll see once you pour the pudding it'd be great it'd be it's gonna fill in it's not gonna be no dry banana pudding the layers are just fill in how they need to some people do it more perfect than I do but hey you're gonna do it the way you're gonna do it. So it doesn't matter. And we got that layer. And I'm not, I bought the big thing of I bought the big thing of cookies because I knew I'd probably use more. And if you want to, you could add more, more bananas if you want. Oh, that's starting really good. Come back. Mm -hmm. My cameraman, of course you guys know it's my husband. He's here. Say what's up, babe. How's everybody doing? Hey, so much. Man. He's waiting on this banana pudding. Yeah. Patiently. Right? So we're just stacking it. Like I said, cover. Make sure you try to cover up with the bananas as possible. Cover them up. Because you don't want to get them scald so fast. They're going to already scald because... The pudding will be so warm, but and some people put a little lemon on there. I don't like it. I tried that before. I don't like it, so I just do it how I do it. So simple. 
Like I said, the only thing you have to measure is your pudding into each box of your um, cook and serve pudding. As you'll see when I get ready to do it, it's three cups of milk to one box of your pudding mix. Some people like to eat it once it's done with ice cream, whipped cream. Some people put meringue on top of theirs. I don't like that. My mom does that. I don't like that. I don't like to do that all the time because then you have to put it in the oven and all that. This is a no bake, um, easy recipe, as I was saying. It's no bake. So you don't have to worry about no oven or anything. It's just so to make your pudding. All right, guys. I think we got our two layers done. We filled our thing and we'll save the little crumbs for last. Put some crumbs on it. That's our pudding. Now we're gonna go over here and make our pudding. So I'm using the vanilla jello cook and serve vanilla pudding. And the reason why I use vanilla, because a lot of times you can't find the um the banana, unless it's close to the holiday, you can't find the banana pudding cook and serve. So I use that. And I also have banana extract. I do a little bit of banana extract, so that's why you won't, it won't matter. All right, guys, so we're gonna open our packages here. I already got our milk measured. I got our vanilla extract that I'm gonna put in there towards the end, and a little pat of butter. All right. Take the knees out and then I'm going to go ahead and pour my milk into my pot. Get in there. That's the four cup and this is a two cup. Six cups y'all. Three cups to each package and we got two packages. Turn our, if you don't have a double boiler like I'm not using today, you want to uh, make sure you keep stirring. Do not stop stirring, guys. Do not stop. I use a whisk. And I start whisking it in. So I whisk it as I'm going. Put it in there and whisk it. Our fire is on like a medium heat. Looks like a medium, yeah, medium high. The double boiler usually takes longer, takes time to heat up, but, so it's not gonna take too much, too long. I know everybody don't have a double boiler. Our milk is still semi-cold, so I can go ahead and have time to open up another package. All right, stirring our next one. I kind of waited till I got it all um, stirred together for the first pack before I added the second pack. You try to use a um, a whisk to whisk it, and we're just gonna hang out and bring it up to temperature. So you want to keep stirring it, stirring it, stirring it. Towards the end, when it gets thickened, I'll put a little banana extract in there, and I'll put a pat of butter. And I put your vanilla extract and banana extract in. All right, guys, what's up with you guys? What are you guys doing tonight? It's late, guys, it's late. We wanted a banana pudding. So we just made one. We just got up and made one. So you can make this anytime, guys, anytime. So you just mix it and mix it and mix it. Mix it, mix it. Mix it, mix it. Just mix it. In the pot. They don't need to see me. Y'all see me. Y'all know what I'm doing. I'm mixing. I wish I had a hand, a couple of y'all hands to come mix. So you wanna have you having a party? Get some folks in there and help mix. Like, come on, your turn. Your turn. 
because it's a lot. You have to keep mixing and stirring and stirring and mixing. So I think this is the most tedious part to me. Why you gotta mix it so much? Cause you don't want it to burn cause we're not using a double boiler. And then you want to do no clumps or nothing like that. It's pudding, so you don't want clumps. So you just gotta keep it moving. Cause we don't want to want to burn. Who would want to go through all that work and then have a burnt banana pudding? Nobody. It's starting to heat up guys. You can see the texture is looking a little thicker. Looking a little thicker. It's heating up. It's gonna go, like I said, it's gonna go a little faster because we're it's going directly on the heat. And so it will be a little faster. So yeah, guys, I wanna thank all you guys that subscribed, shared the channel, uh, like the videos that we've been putting out. Do the same things, like, share, subscribe. And definitely comment. Let us know in the comments also if you guys made it. Let us know. Send us pictures. Let us know you guys made the banana pudding and how it came out to you. What did you add to yours? I always like to know. It's always cool to get new ideas, new recipes. You don't want to put it on a real high heat because it'll still burn. So you want it like a medium, medium high heat. We had fun on our anniversary, guys. Thank you so much for all the wishes, all the great, you know, wishes and God bless yous on our union. We really enjoyed it. We had fun with you guys in this quarantine type of uh, situation. So we did have fun. We missed the faces that would have been here with us to celebrate, but you know, hey, it is what it is. We did what we did and we conquered. We had fun. But best leave when this quarantine's over. We're gonna go travel. We're gonna do something to celebrate. My babe not saying nothing. He just quiet, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> we still stirring, y'all. I know. I know. We stirring. We stirring. We stirring. It's gonna heat up. It's already heating up. I just don't want, I'm in a nun stick. I'm using an um, Emerald Lagasse pot, it's nun stick. So it's not gonna stick, but it will still burn. So you don't wanna take a chance if you have, oh, I have a nun stick, so it's fine, it won't burn. No, you have to keep stirring, cause it will burn. And the taste of a burnt pudding, oh my God, so gross. So gross, I've had it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I said, it's late. It's after midnight, y'all. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing this for y'all. I'm doing this I'm doing this pudding for y'all after midnight. That's because we wanted some. We ain't doing this for y'all. We wanted some. But we want to include you in it so you can have a taste. We're going to give you guys a first taste. He keeps stirring. You may get a little tired, but you just keep stirring. It will come together. Mm -hmm. Takes a while. I'm like your arm about to fall off. I know. But then mysteriously your arm recovers once you taste it. <laughs> it be like it was all worth it. I got my whipped cream on deck because I like putting whipped cream on mine. Some people like ice cream, you know, on theirs. It's fine. Either way you like it, it's great. If you want to do the meringue, that's fine too. I will show you how to do the meringue, but not tonight. Cause we're not putting a meringue on ours. We just put ours the way it is. Fill a couple cookies. Huh? At what point do you add the extract stuff? Towards when it gets thick, when it starts to get thick, I pour it at the end, very end, because you don't want to cook it because then it cook out the flavor. You want the flavor to be, that's why you make tea, make, wait till you put the vanilla extract and the banana extract. I wait to the end. Mm. So it's almost ready to come off the stove. Or until I'm taking it off the stove and you just stir it in. And I always do a pat of butter, a good measure. Gives it that extra like, oh, that richness that we're looking for. It gives it that. We have a lot of milk in here, so it is gonna be rich, but you guys know. The butter gives it an extra, 
He's like, oh, that's savory, it's good. Mm -hmm. So what'd you guys do today on Saturday night? I just was chilling today, y'all. It's getting thick because it's getting heavier to stir around. It's starting to get thick. It's warming up. It seems like it's not, but it's warming up, guys. Hope you guys have been enjoying these videos. We're going to do a lot more videos. I have hundreds of videos I can put on here that I'm going to do. Multiple hundreds of, video of recipes I have. You just keep stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring. I want you guys to see this step because a lot of people be like, oh, it's easy or whatever because they do instant um, jello mix. So it is a little quicker. It takes cold water, cold milk or whatever, and it's faster. But this is more, it's more, it's good. Though. It's going to be better. I don't like the cold one. Try the hot one. And if you taste it, you don't like it, throw it in the refrigerator. It'll be cold in about a couple hours. I really only eat it the first day, guys. I'm gonna just tell the truth. I don't go back for seconds of it. The next day or thirds, I'll say, because I do have seconds sometimes, the first day. But on the second day, I don't eat no more of it. My kids eat it. My husband sometimes eat it. Sometimes. But I don't eat it at all. I like it the way I make it now, hot, fresh, warm banana pudding, and that's it. Mm -hmm. I don't want no more of it. So we still stirring. Yeah, I remember the time you uh, made the banana pudding for me to take to my job. Mm -hmm. It was still warm. They couldn't even believe it. They were like, it's still warm. Right. And I think they liked it better warm. Huh? They did. They finished it. <clears throat> they ate that whole pan and was like, is that it? Right. So it's really good, y'all. I'm telling you, try it. Try it. Everybody that's had it cold, it'd be like, oh, I can't imagine it hot. Try it. Mm -hmm. Try it. I'm telling you, you'll like it. It's so <clears> good. <throat> Yeah, I got one guy, every time I see him, he's like, when your wife gonna make that banana pudding again? I'm like, man, I ain't seen you in like six months. Right. <laughs> Tell him $80, it's a lot of work. <laughs> For a big pan, I made a big pan too, guys. He took it to his job, I made a huge pan. Yeah. A lot of work. I think he started the pudding though. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Tell me I had to work for it. Yeah, he had to work for it, or they had to pay me for it. One of the two. I think you did both, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, it's late. It's after midnight. We just chilling on a Saturday night. Who all getting up and going to virtual church in the morning? That's what I want to know. Because everybody quarantined. Should nobody party on Saturday night? They should be getting ready for church. You don't even have to be on time for church now with the virtual church. That sounds bad, guys. Be on time bad. for your church. Support your church. I try to be on time for my church. Too much. But yeah. a lot of people, they like, I could just wake up at once, still watch my church service. Well, you know what? I'm seeing like this. Still watch it. Even if you get up late, watch it. Support your church, and you get a chance to support other churches during this pandemic. But definitely support your church and pay your tithes and keep your mask on. If your church open, keep your mask on, your gloves, and social distance. Y'all, I probably won't go back to church in 2021. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I can't even say. But I will virtually support my church. Jubilee Church of God in Christ, Everett, Washington. Pastor Alvin Seymour and our first lady is Dr. Evangelist yes. Yes. Maria E. Moore. She's a doctor, y'all. She's a doctor. So proud of her. She worked so hard. With all that she has going on to finish school. Mm -hmm. So I give a shout out to my Jubilee family. Hope you guys are watching, sharing, and subscribe. I want to see all my Jubilee family 
watch, share, subscribe, and definitely comment. Let me know in the comments you subscribe. Y'all know my recipes. Y'all know I can cook up there. So don't try me. Don't try me. And support my daughter's business too. So we got, we even started some businesses y'all in this pandemic. And I'm so proud of her. She has the Royal Hair Company LLC. Support my daughter. She's been working hard. She's been doing a lot of heads. You guys see pictures on Facebook. Support her. Support her. And definitely support me. As y'all see, I got all my business, as y'all already know. It's starting to get hot, y'all. You can see the, the smoke coming from this pudding. It's warming, y'all. It's getting mm. warm. Getting warm. It's getting there. It's getting there. And so definitely at this stage, when you know it's hot, because it's getting warm, and I don't see no more of the milk in there, it's all mixed up. Do not stop stirring. This is the time where you will scorch your pudding. Do not stop stirring. If you have to stop for a second for anything, take it off the stove. Take it off the heat for a second and then put it back on the heat because you don't want to scorch it at this day. All this third I just did, I don't want to mess this up. I have to do another one. That would be terrible. So you want to calm the stir until you get a boil or a simmer. You don't want to have to stir it too long. You'll see when it's time to take it off. It gets really thick, real thick, silky vanilla pudding. And we're going to add our, in a minute, we're going to add our vanilla extract. And we're going to add our banana extract. Because that's how we're going to get our strong banana flavor. But you don't want to put too much. You just want to put a drop. That banana extract is really strong. Vanilla extract is strong too. So you just want to drop I need the butter right here. Mm -hmm. I got some butter here, y'all. Let me get some butter going. I just want a little hat butter here. I said, remember I said you got to multitask at the same time because a lot of times I don't have nobody in the kitchen with me. And I'm making it, so I have to multitask. So don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Get it, get it, get it, don't stop. See, put my bat, pat of butter. Not that much, just a little pat. Get that in there. Get ready to open my banana extract up. Thank you. Uh, I can feel it sticking. Just a little bit, y'all. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Drop. So you don't want that much. Slow drop. Mix that in. The pudding is getting thick. It don't have to boil, boil, but you want it thick so it can, because it's going to thicken up as it sits too. And like I said, we didn't do it layer by layer where we pour pudding in each layer. So we wanted it to be kind of loose so it could just go through all the layers. We did two layers tonight. So what have you guys been doing to stay sane? What have you guys been doing? You guys been praying? You guys been fasting? Reading your word? What have you guys been doing? Trying to shop online, don't become no shopping addict. Don't do that. <laughs> no, it's hard. See, it's really thick, y'all, now. It's thick. It's thick. You can see how it's moving. It's thick. It's, it's already coating. The thing is coating. Keep it on a little bit longer. And we're going to take it off. Because it don't have to be, like, bubbling. You don't want it at that state. But you do want it to be hot. Oh, it's so thick and creamy. I used two boxes of the vanilla jello, vanilla cook and serve. It takes six cups of milk because it's two boxes. Each box takes three cups of milk. I use banana extract. I use a um, like a tablespoon and a half 
of grade A double A butter. So it's, I use real butter, y'all. And I use um, probably like just a drop of vanilla ex vanilla flavoring. About, a drop, about like a half a teaspoon or so. And a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Banana extract, sorry. I think that's it, y'all. We're going to turn this off. Because I don't want my pudding to scald. And if, when you're using a um, nonstick boiler, it will scald because you're waiting for it to bubble and it may not because it's a nonstick, it's a coating pan. So we're going to go over here and we're going to we're gonna pour it in a second. I usually wait a second. Ooh, it's hot, y'all. Mm -hmm. And then I start letting it rain. So I'll start. Ooh, that looks so good, y'all. Mm -hmm. And you just go over it. And we done. Basically, we finished this. We done. Fill it on up. Don't be scared. Use all that pudding. If you make too much, because my pan is really big, so if you make too much, you can always use it another day. Put it in the fridge, put it in a bowl, put it in the refrigerator, and it'll be good. Ooh, that looks good. My baby, nothing else. Yeah, that good. That's ready to roll. Side. Guys, ooh, that look good. Ooh, you can see those bananas standing up. I mean, the, the cookie standing up on the side. Oh, it filled all the way up. Oh my god. Hmm. <clears throat> Guys, make that. Tell me about that. Tell me. Tell me about how y'all made y'all pudding and how it came out. I look good. I do look good. Just go to clean it up. Okay, guys. We made our pudding. We conquered and we made our pudding. And uh what that was. Guys, we conquered, we made our pudding, our pudding is ready. And we just now it's time to just eat. So we let it sit for a few seconds before we eat it, but we're gonna have it warm. I'm gonna get that whipped cream out and we tune to the next video so you can see us eat this. So good. So good. All right. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment on our video. We want to see some likes, 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 likes. And definitely stay safe and blessed. Peace.